area are well taken care of, you will not see disaster of rain and thunder or lightning on their day. That's the day when they are on duty. So on their watch, <laughs> there will not be a problem. Many of these people don't know. <coughs> Explaining this is to let you know that coming to such a class, such a discussing room, you are in a home when you are in a home where you can be reminded of what we used to do from the beginning, or what we are supposed to be doing from the beginning. That's why I first of all start by the day, the month, my dress. Because we have to go from known to the unknown. Asking questions many a times can develop intelligence. If you don't understand a thing and you ask and it is explained, you have to your knowledge. And knowledge is said to be what? Power. Power we are talking is not power of oppression. It's not power of wrestling. It's not power of domination. But it's power of comfort and peace. When you are comforting your, in yourself, which means you are confident. You feel comfortable when you are confident. When you know about who you are, you are in control of your life. Nothing embarrasses you. Because the fear of the unknown is the danger. But when you know that you have, you have overcome yesterday, you are equal with today. You and today, you are par. You're comfortable. And you know with your understanding, tomorrow cannot be an embarrassment to you. That's the confidence I'm talking about. That's the power I'm talking about. So what may embarrass other people will not embarrass you because you know about it. If something strange happens to some people and they are only elter scatter and they get to you and they told you when you are running, hey, why are you running? Oh, we see that fish are dropping from the sky. Oh, we believe maybe it's the end of the world. Well, that's why you're running. They say, yeah. Wait a bit, you run. It is not strange that fish can come from the above. It has happened before in the days of our fathers. When rain is too much, you can see fish dropping from the sky. Sometimes, in some places, when rain comes, you can see fishes coming out from the ground, solid ground that you've been walking upon before, though it should be muddy, but when the mud is hard, is solid, you'll be walking around it. And the, when, when the rain comes, and this mud breaks, and then you see big fishes coming out. You could even see fishes that have legs. I have seen them before in some northern part of Nigeria. Precisely northeast of Nigeria, in 
in my degree area. This is experience. By the time they say that and you hear you smile, be comfortable. comfortable. That does not mean the world is coming to an end because it did not come to, a, to an end when it happened before the days of our fathers. So it cannot come to an end now because that happened. You are able to do that because you know. That's just, I just give that as an example to see why we say knowledge is power and what we mean by the power. Because this world has not come by chance. This world has come by true spiritual decision, aspiration of one, the only one that is the controller of heaven and earth, God, Elite Marie. Call him many names through any religious faith, but it's only one. He has messengers or ministers, call them anything, but they are not him. You can have ambassador, you can have representative, you can. But whoever serves the other person has a relationship between the master and the person that is running errands. So any other powerful being of record are running errands for only one superior power called God can give that type of uh, institution any name you like, but the understanding is what is most important. So if God decided to create an extension of the spiritual existence called heaven and call it physical existence call earth or Venus or whatever but it's physical where people live I've not been to Venus or any of the other places but I'm on earth which I know and I want to talk about what I know I don't want to talk about what I don't know. That God, the only God, meant a purpose. And we believe that He's all wise. We believe that God is all kind. We believe that God is all powerful. If an all kind person that is so kind to the extreme, that his kindness is unparalleled, that his power is unparalleled, his wisdom is unparalleled, then when that type of institution does a thing, that thing must have meaning. Oh, that should be as simple as one plus one give us two. So when he meant that to create this world for the existence of man, man there, you and me. For us to live physically, with assignment, that is, go and live there, do this and that to make you comfortable, choose whatever you want. It's for a period of time. Maybe if you do well, you'll take the first round, go 200. And if you do more, you can take more, more years. I mentioned 200, because I'm not referring to the biblical dictation or the Quranic dictation or the modern Western science or investigation 
their lifespan is 70 or 60 or 10 or whatever they may come about. But I'm relying and using the material of the esoteric language of God that we call Ifa. That says, that when you spend 200 years, you're just beginning. That the Igba is like just to one. Igba is 200. In history, we have heard of people who lived 500 years. Even the, the, biblical, the biblical thing said, uh, they refer to one person in the Bible called the two seller that lived thousands of years. And nobody ever denied it. And the Bible is not as old as Ifa. Because Ifa we are talking about, or the Orisha we are talking about, or the creation we are talking about. Is first. If there are other creations or there are other beings, then the one we are talking about could be referred to as primus inter pares. First among equal. That is even to diminish the 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 importance. If we have a king here. And so he's our Lord. Say, hey, just call me first among the equals. He just wants to show humility. <clears throat> he doesn't want to say that uh, after me, when I take one position, there should not be position two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. The next position must be eleven. He didn't say that. <laughs> he said, just me first, and then we have two, three, and whatever. So primus inter pares that we call Yoruba Ulu Ulu Force, the crown, the one that is in front and others follow. So if God we are talking about and the creation we are talking about are superior in existence to any other knowledge of any other belief system, then we must then know that whatever are the facts that we have in such the belief systems are following the facts of the original. Which means he's saying just a little about it. Which means there are deeper and deeper and deeper information that they don't cover. Because when you talk of a religion after man, Buddhism, following Buddha, Christianity, following Christ. Jesus. Islam, or the language I used to know when I was young, used to be called Mohammedanism, the followers of the dictates of Muhammad. But when you talk of Ifa, Jongo, Ogun, Orumila, Obatala, Obatasa, Oshun, Awura, Olu, Iye Moja, Oloku, the Yamis, and the rest of them, we never call them God. We never even call them the children of God. We never even call Orumila God. We give prestige to Orumila and sometimes call him Baba Ifa, the father of Ifa. 
is a decoration. But Baba Ami Agbon Meregun, Agri Logman, the all wise among the Orishas. But he never called himself God. But he said he brought messages of God to call him Father. So which means the faith we are talking about when we are taking our materials is a faith after God. That's all I want to put that get there. Not after man. Not after a singular person, singular person. Not after a physical person who one time or the other did what I am doing. Have wife, children, drunk made mistakes, arrested, beaten, locked up, spit upon, killed. We're not talking about that. We're talking about the unkillable. The one you cannot arrest. You can't spit upon him. You cannot even estimate his power. You cannot even look and think of an equal. That's God we're talking about. If he happened to be the one that created the world and gave us the injunctions of what we need to do here, then that must be very special. Ladies and gentlemen, I welcome you to this class, to this discussion of somebody will read it out for you to know that we are here to discuss with ourselves. Let somebody give us a topic. Title of today's topic. Title of today? The importance of Ori. The importance of Ori, that is, head, in achieving peace and what? And progress. And progress. Peace and what? Progress. Peace and what? Progress. progress. Who does not want peace? <laughs> Who does not want progress? We all want peace. We all want progress. Why do we want peace? Where do we want progress and for what and where? With the preambles I've given in the creation, that God created this place with intelligence, with a purpose. With idea that we cannot be criticized because of the overwhelming benefits and say go there enjoy yourself pick what you want to do there that's the point I want to make pick what you want to do that is my place you're free just go and choose what you want to do go to the university pick a discipline it's you who knows what you want to use that discipline for in the university. So when you are coming to the world that is created, you coming to the world must choose what you want to do there. You didn't choose for anybody. That's the point we want to get. God did not choose what you and me want to come here to do. He gave us the largesse, the freedom the opportunity, the blessing, the kindness to choose what you want to do there. There are numerous things. I want to go to the world to be a rich person. When I get that many, uh, I know what to do about it. I want to get to the world to be 
a king. People just to follow me, that's what's going to make me happy. I want to get to the world to be somebody that we increase population. That's what I want to do. You choose what you want. That for the period of time you give me to be there, this is what I want to do there. But each person is referred to as Ori. It is the head that is you. It is my head that's me, your head that is you. Even a snake that is as powerful as it is, if the snake does not have a head, it's powerless. If an organization has no head, it's confusion. Is the human being is murdered, and you get to the place you cannot find the head, you find it difficult to know, find, find to know who he is. If you have to know with the modern technology in all of the civilized places here, and you want to do DNA, that person must have gotten a record before that you can compare the DNA with before you can know who he is. If you don't have a prior record, you cannot know who he is with any DNA. You can't. He must have been in the data before you can know. So the head is so important to be you and me. That's why this topic falls on the head so that you know head that is you. Your head is you. My head is me. So the process of me, the process of you, and taking care of it, working with it to give you peace and progress. Peace and progress in the chosen career in the social ambition when you were coming everybody has to pick it's like you're coming hey this is what i want when i get to, to the world there are a lot of stances of ifa that support that that we come to this world and we choose what we want in utuamiji Forget about the Olu of the Ifa, the Ajenjeniri Gwe Goronide. Many a times we translate the Olu that Ajenjeniri Gwe Goronide divin, had a divination or divine to somebody. No matter what English translation we give to the Ajenjeniri Gwe Goronide, it's just descriptive and uh, Making you a little bit comfortable. It's a name. It's a name. Ajanjanirebun. It is the shape of that person. The one that takes benefits from the investments they have done. Iregun is, oh, this is what I've done. Like, I want to take something from somebody and he doesn't want to give me, say, hey, <laughs> you remember I did so, so, so for you the other time too. Oh, oh, why can't you give me what I want now? I helped you before. That is illegal. <coughs> <coughs> Reminding the person of what you have done, you have, what you have done in the past for a person, is that illegal? Egboroni day, then, you now have a chain of achievements. That is the description of the Babalawo in heaven that had reading for Orumila. When Orumila himself was coming, we want to use the example of Orumila because we know that they happen to be the wisest. 
So when he got to where he had to pick, it is known that each person would pick only one pen to do. Orumda was wondering, how can I pick only one if I have to do the big assignment I have? They say, you know what? You have to meet the elders. Because they will go to Obatala's place to pick it. They say, you know what? Go and invite the elders who will follow you. Call on Ogun to follow you. Give Ogun something. Call on Obaluaye to follow you. Call on the Yami to follow you. Call on the Shwadara. Let those four elders follow you to Obatala. When you get there, ask for what you want. You know, like people are picking benefits. And where you have to pick this benefit, you have to pick only one there. But when you go in there, you are escorted by some powerful people. Maybe some of the people who are classmates of the guy that holds what he wants, who knew him, they have been in club together, and they see that they know him very well. It's like you have a matter in the court and you know the magistrate or the judge who wants to take care of your case, but you want to hire a lawyer who, when he became a lawyer, that judge sat under him in his chamber before. <laughs> he used to work for him before you can be a judge. That you cannot see him and not say, oh, Welcome, sir. Uh, thank you for coming to my court. And then the next person that you will see is the president of the of the law school, the law school where he went. That president has retired, and he take a walking stick and cigar and come to the courts too. And then the next person happened to be the uncle that contributed part of the uh, university fees or books when the judge was in the university. All of these people follow you to the court. And then they call the matter. And they say who's representing this guy. These people stand up and the judge look at them. The first thing we we'll say is that, oh, I want to retire in the chamber a little bit. He will have to invite those people to the chambers that I hope I'm okay <laughs> because I don't know what is happening here. Who is this guy? What really happened? There will be some understanding in the chamber before the real understanding in the main court, no matter who. There will be some understanding somewhere because before some understanding. If there's any way that judge could help without going against the law, excuse me, without going against the law, because the law is how you can read it, how you can manipulate it. Like somebody I don't want to mention, that say he didn't pay tax because he's clever. <laughs> <laughs> because he did not do anything against the law. Somebody said that. He's telling us about how people can manipulate law. He said he did not pay tax because he's clever. Because he did not do anything against the law. You see what I'm saying? So, and nobody challenged him on that. We can just know that, oh, with all the money you have, why are you not making a noise that you are this and that? Why don't you that pay that, that peanut to help the public? 
So people can understand the law very well. That people, that's why people hire a lawyer when they go to court. Get a good lawyer, that is a lawyer that could understand a lawyer that comes from the family of law, like the family of Dungu Foot in, in Britain. Because Dungu Foot in Britain don't do any other thing, the totality of their family is law. So Orumla went to the house of Abatala with this powerful lodge. When he got there, Abatala saw all of these uh, powerful people. Uh, what happened here? They pretend, like, oh, we just followed this guy. He's going to the ward and he wants to pick a benefit he's going to use over there. Obatala said, okay. Obatala could not say, hey, there's some, there are some rules here. And before Obatala said, hey, they had him like, come, take what you want. And Amura said, I want to go to the world and have a lot of money. Before Batala could talk, all those lords said, Ashe. They say, I can't get it. Go on. He looked at them and said, Go on. I want to have good wives that will help me in the world before I come back. They say, I share, I can't get any day, go on. I want to have a lot of children to help my work in the world before I come back. They say, I share, I can't get any day, go on. I can't get any day. When he chose everything and he said, I want to stay there for as long as I want. They say, I didn't get it, I didn't get it, I didn't get it. could not say no. <laughs> That's how Rupila pick all the things. Izori, when he got to the world, Oh, but Allah now saw that. What am, I, what, what am I doing here? Everything has been taken by Anumila. So when the next child came, sorry, he said, hey, 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 don't worry. Go to heaven. I go to the world. Anumila is the one you have to go and meet now. Because he has taken everything. And he says he wants to help the world. Go and be taking it from him. Because he knows how to act. Abatala left the job and gave it to Arumila. That's why since then, they have to consult Ifa. They have to consult Ifa. That's why every Ori must say or ask for what he wants. So they pick that and that's why when a child is coming, he has picked from Orumila. But we, in the world, we know what is in that Ori. That's why we do the rite of passage called a Kosenjaye on the third day the child comes to know what that Ori stands for. There are a lot of stanzas to buttress that. But because of time constraint, we have to do it in such a way that we get to where we're going. So, Ori is that that has chosen what you want. If Ori chose that, and it is recorded by the parents, the parents, therefore, must now tell that person when he's grown, this is what your Ori wants. If you do what the only want, you will have peace and progress. Because if you do not do what the only want, your Ori 
may not be honest with you. The verse says, that God, don't let my ori be dishonest to me. About this dishonesty. If you have a good friend you have confidence in, and enemies run to him, say, hey, tell us his secret. We want to get him. Invite him to your house so that you see we know he's moving, then we get him there. That's our body. We know he usually comes to you. Well, what time is he coming? We'll give you a lot of money. Say, all right, okay, if you give me that, he's coming by 4 o'clock. You get him here. That's our body. But if that friend takes care of you very well, you are very close, he's not going to accept our body. So if you take care of Ori, Ori will not accept our body. That's one. Two, there's another advice that says, Yimi yimi abe yi pali, babala wori lo di favori. Yimi yimi, he said babala wo. He divine for Ori when Ori was coming from heaven to this world. When Ori got to the world to appear, he said, I cannot do be in the world alone. I need some other parts to follow me. They asked Ori to choose. Ori chose Oju I. Please follow me. Oju now joined Ori. He chose Eti. Please follow me. He joined. He chose Enu Mouth. Please follow me. He followed. He chose Imu. Please follow me. Then we can breathe. He chose 80. Please follow me. So the head now can see and talk, can hear, can eat. And he went and talked and talked to the leg. Please follow me. Uri can now have mobility. He went and talked to arms. Please follow me. The hand join Ori. Then Ori can have hand to do anything. He asked the stomach, Ikun, please follow me. He can store things in there. Which means what we are saying that is the Ori, that is you, all the other parts are invited by Ori to join him to perform. So if you don't know the workings of Ori, how will it work? If somebody has stroke in the arm or in the leg, it is from the brain that happened. If they don't use uh, treatments that will correct that from the brain, that leg is not going to work. That arm is not going to work. There's a connection from Ori to all that all parts of the body. Ori is the king of the body. And that's why if I say yimi yimi abeni pali babala ori lo di favori ori belo beri oni kanso so oju de ori do oju bori do kere kere ori mi asai dele ni enu de ese de apa de bubara de mo bori do kere kere ori mi asai dele ni kere kere. That is all the parts of the body come and join ori, and that's when ori has a lot of followership. That's why Ori is so important, as important as the totality of the body. So if we don't know how to take care of Ori, work with Ori, there's nothing we can do to become successful. If somebody is fine, they say he has a good luck. What I tell you is only has good luck means good head. The luck there is locker. The storage of everything you have that you come with that's your locker so a good locker a locker that's not leaking a locker that's superior a locker that's not have problems that can destroy what is there a storage that's superior that does not make all you put it there in to be rotting that you have good memory that's a good locker that's a good head so if you don't treat your locker very well you don't treat your ori very well how can you succeed There's a stanza that says, Agba tepe tepe, Agba tolo tolo, Agba giele giele. Agba tepe tepe, that 
elder that would be on this world for a long time. That is the mother earth. Agba tolo tolo Agba, that when he walks, he walks an aged and yet it is strong like the turkey. Tolo tolo. That's the head. If I call Agba, head the to, Agba tolo tolo. Agba giele giele, that is the elder, that is so old and yet is just there without any problem. That's what we call on Romila. If you call an Ifa, those, th those three, even if somebody is dying or you know that it has a problem and you can use some alligator pepper in your mouth and eat it, your mouth has a share and you can call on those three elders and they say that person should not die, should hold on to get to the hospital or whatever, nothing is going to happen to that person. That's how powerful Ori is. That's how powerful the mother is, mother mother art is. That's how powerful Orumila is. When say agba tekpe tekpe agba tolo tolo agba gele gele agba tekpe tekpe la akpe le agba tolo tolo la akpori agba gele gele la akpo Orumila. Ori don't allow this person to die. Orumila don't allow him to die. Mother art don't allow him to die. Oh he 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 man le awo kuma ah tiku awo adoro sikin lono. If I tell you that back road down there, it's what I run there, my brother. Oh, hey, 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 man, le. That is, oh, hey, hey, it's on the ground. Nobody can lift him. If I, if this person dies, it's in your hand. And who's the father? God. It's sure that be a witness. See how powerful Ori is. This is what Baba now called assistant. A rescue that you can use words to make happen that you don't have to use any physical material before you rescue a person. All of these are given to us by God the Lady Mary to make sure that what he gave us as gifts in this world is not fake. He doesn't give us a, a, a gift that is not useful. He doesn't pretend making sure we are okay. He wants us to be fine genuinely. Provided we know what we are doing. Provided we follow what we want to come and do here and how to do it. And that's why here, Ori is so important if Ori is worth taking care of. So people have to know the food of Ori. There are a lot of chants about Ori that if we know it, you will know that nothing like Ori that the case of a slave that was in a place, and everybody said, oh, may the king make me uh, uh, free, may the king uh, help me, may the, he said, may Maori make me something. Everybody was saying, huh? Why you Ori? So the king cannot make you something. He says, Maori, they said, they should bring him. He repented the same day that I, I trust in Maori better than what the king can do for me. And the king said, you know what? We know what to do. That Yori will help you. They take a coffee and lock him there. Wooden coffee. And they throw him into the water. And they said, Maori, help me. The cornet was taking the coffin into the next city. That time, their king just died, and their policy in the place that they must look for a stranger to make a king. They were looking for a stranger. Then they saw, they saw a coffin coming. What's the coffin in the water? They took the coffin. They opened it, they find a human being. Huh? Where are you coming from? Before you talk, you are not even from our city. Don't worry. They carried, don't kill me. They said, don't, don't worry. They made him a king. He became a king. He became robust and thing. And the place where they made him a king, was a city bigger in size and in prestige than the city where he was, he was nailed into a coffin. A time came that we were making a meeting for all of the kings in the area. And the king from his own place, original place where he was slave, came in there. And he was greeting himself, oh, Kabiasi, Kabiasi, 
Because this is a bigger king. Say, so you don't know me again. Ah, I never know you, sir. So you don't, do you remember one slave that you so, 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 oh, I remember him. That one is dead. I threw him in the water. He says, it's not dead, it's me. This one will take me, huh? That's how powerful he is. Papa, now you try to chant it. A tea real bini, a fufu leg, or a jammer. He be told it in sour, a fufu leg, well, would they be? I did have body summy, a rose on a cocoa, a cure job of Budu Boni, Harry, a limia passa. And you are my friend, told his son, don't you need your bunny? Don't you know it's a person that only stands behind that can be a king, that can be anything? So that's how powerful Ori is. A person that's not taken care of Ori is taking care of nothing. So Ori is that powerful. We need to know what our Ori wants. There's Ori uh, Ejifi called Ili Ori. Just like you have Ifa in the pot, you have Oshun in the pot, so people can have an Ori. I know in Mexico they love to have Ori a lot. A lot of people, but I have half, half the pot of Ori in my house. I have the pot of Ori in my country. If they say they have to venerate my Ori, they go to the pot of my Ori, they call my Ori there, and they venerate. So people must, uh, must try to learn that, to know how to take care of Ori, the food of Ori, so that if Ori is worked with, it's difficult for the person not to have peace and progress. But if Ori is abandoned, uncared for, Forget it. That some people don't care, people just knock on their head and push them. You don't, people don't misreach your head. It's not good. Take care of your head very well. That's why you see a woman, uh, Yoruba people assess the dignity of a woman by the way the woman keeps her head. <clears throat> Many a times you look at the shoe a man wears to know how prestigious he is. You see the front opposite? <laughs> because they know nobody can even touch the head of a man anyway. <laughs> but so they look at his leg. But a woman, you don't just, it's very rare for somebody to knock the head of, the head of a woman. Say, oh, oh, what do you mean? And people want to destroy a person. They can put problem on the ori of that person and may not grow. Ori is so important, it's so delicate. It's where our brain is. It's the one that is king of the body. Each person must know what does my ori want. That's why we do ikose jaye, that is what our ori chose from heaven. Our do's, our don'ts. What you can eat, what you should not eat, what's your guiding spirit. What is the guiding spirit that rules that ori? That's the same people who say, I have an orisha on my ori. That is the orisha that is controlling that head. That is why you have ileke, you have the bead. That bead is the bead of the orisha that is protecting your head. That's the meaning. So when you take care of that orisha protecting your head, you're protecting your head. And many a times you have a reading, they say, hey, take care of your ori. You ask for what you really want and you will never fail. Ori is that important. I know you will note all of this down. By the time that we have the session of bringing your questions, whatever question you have, load it there, we'll be able to solve it. But most importantly, that's one thing that is important for us to know. That's breaking the cola. The cola is so important to appease any Orisha. Shango takes Orobo, but the way, the same way we break cola is the same as Orobo. And I will quickly go through that to end this because I promised during the last lecture that uh, I will show you that so that uh, you will know what we are talking about. And for that to happen, I will do it on the tray of Ifa. And because you already know what we have here, but people have not been to any of our lectures before, you know that we have stuff to take care of a lot of ailments, you know, which are, which are here. Um, you have uh, Akobisokun, that one washes your head. Every death, any problem of the world is sent into the, into the river. 
And we have logo here, the anti-witchcraft. If you are attacked by the witches, we have the soap that can take care of that. Then we have the one for the birthday. When you have a birthday, you have a, a, a security, a guarantee for another, for another year. Then you have the Oju Lanso. That's the one that will punish your enemy if somebody has been your friend before and suddenly become an enemy. That person will have a punishment. Then we have to it. That is the memory thing. Because if you don't remember things, how can the children be good in school? How can you be good at your work too? So remembrance stuff is also so here. We have the stuff that is the uh, dog does not sleep. That's the one that we used to find lost lover. A lover that you quit before and you don't know where she is again. That is the one that will discover your lost uh, love. We have the Orogumeji. That is the spiritual peace that takes care of any ailment, any problem that may be in your body, whether spiritually or accidentally. You have Ogbeyonu, the one that makes peace with you and people, that people will love you, they will be kind to you, they listen to your words, because if you have wisdom, and they don't even listen to what you want to say, how do they know you have wisdom? We have the, uh, the relationship stuff that you and your wife, if you use it, that's love bond. Or you have a partner that you are with and you don't want any separation, love bond, we have that. We have Akerara, the one that if people are destroying your job, you don't want your job to progress and you, you put it on your hand, that person will be in trouble. So if they don't leave you alone, they may die. We have uh, uh, the stuff to calibrate your beads. These are powerful beads of uh, Orisha that you see, you make them powerful. So when they are in your neck, when they are, power, when they, when they are made strong, they are, they are something else. If you see this one, we have five powerful ones there. I just showed this one. This is one of my uh, biggest beads that I use because this is my personal that used apart from the small ones that I cook all the time to eat with, you know. But this one, if you see it, you see the five big orishas that share four days here. You see the Ifa, you see the Obatala, Ogun, Shango, and, uh, and uh, Oshun there. So we calibrate it, give it power. We have the stop, the stop here. You have something we call Ogbeolopa, uh, the trouble free. You have the matter somewhere and uh, you want to be released and make sure that you have kindness of uh, the person who talk into the matter, whether in the court or anywhere. We have the stuff of Ajigba Rally, the one that gives you energy. We call it energy booster. We have a Badiowo, you know, things you use as belt against kidnapping, either yourself or the children, so that uh, evil people will not come and just uh, kidnap you and, uh, or do something terrible for you. They will give you uh, honor. We have SOMU, which means a thing that can protect you against meta attack, knife, cutlass, or what you have. What you have. Then we have the King Ifa, that's the, the bullet of Ifa, the original one. I show you the other time so that you know if your king does not have four eyes or more, they are fake. That's why we give, we give a sample there. People take our Ifa, which is like uh, eight and 18, so that we calibrate it for you. Before you do full initiation, you can have and our ifa, we have, and it can be done for you anywhere in America, in anywhere. We can give hand of ifa to anybody. You have the corner lot, which you have here, and then we have Urshabi. Then we have the different leaves of ifa to wash ifa. You know, so the way ire, that is the leaf of ire. Ire means good thing to bring ire. We have ojusaju, that leaf of favor. We have uh, akisan, that is a thing that will make sure that you are. You are benefited in anything you do. We have the Akoko, the one that makes you uh, top among your equals. We have uh, Aje, the prosperity uh, leave. We have many of them. They are just a sample for you to know what actually you are doing. And uh, we want to quickly, uh, if uh, my, my uh, director permits, to quickly uh, rush uh the ob because i promised last time 
and I don't want to promise and not make it uh, happen because the cola nut is so powerful and uh, it does a lot of things. You see, it's not uh, a divination instrument, but it's a material that gives you a compliment, accomplishment of a veneration. So make sure that the veneration is accepted. So make sure the veneration is accepted. So it's very, very important to know that. So you can have the obi that is follow-up, you know, which is the, the general one that we respect so much. Sometimes you can have them three loop. The three loop one is for a shoe. A shoe can take the three loop. Mm -hmm. Then you can have the five loop. We can also have the six loop, Obi. So let's go by uh, like uh, let's go by uh, four and five. That will teach us more. The first thing I want us to understand is that. If you come round, you'll be able to see what I'm saying. If all of you can come, come round, you know, so that that will make you be able to know straight away because this is a big advantage for you. This uh, this follow that is one, two, three, four. This abata. See, follow, Bobby. This follow, one, two, three, four. As follow Bobby. One, two, three, four. Follow Bobby. What happens is that see, when you break it, with follow, you have two males and two females. And they follow Bobby. This is the heart of the Obi. You can throw it on Ifa many a times. Ifa is the heart of the Obi. Please protect my heart. You can throw it into Ifa. Then when you see them, uh, it has a mark at the hand, at the tip. At the tip. If you see this one, there are two lines that hand it up. It ends with two lines. That's a female. And when you talk of two lines and a female, this is a mature class. We know what we are referring to. Yes. So you can liken it to uh, the feminine relationship. You see, uh, that's a female. This is another one that hands with two. That's another female. Then you have this other one. It's only a single line that hands it. That's a male. And the fourth one is also a singular. That's a male. Usually when you have the obi, you pray with the obi. You tell the obi, take away bad things and bring in good things of life for me. Let the issue give the obi to the enemies. Enemies like death, sickness, discord, all bad things, poverty. Beg them, even if I offend them. Because there have been a situation that one guy took the wife of Iku in the stanza, and Iku was looking for him. The man is called Oke Jengbere. And they say, hey, you better look for a shoe. You got a shoe, hey, shoe, there's a problem. I didn't know the wife I took happened to be the wife of Iku. What do I do? This is Obi. He said, don't worry, I'll take care of it because he didn't know. And if he could, or any of these terrible things will go anywhere, they will first of all tell the shoe. This is where we're going. So he could go to the man and say, hey, I'm going to, he was going to kill Oke Jengbere. Say, hey, oh, why? He said, he got my wife. He said, okay, go. But take some Obi before you go. He took Obi. He ate and said, hey, give to your, to your friends the sickness, the, the discord, all of the negative. And she said, I, he could said, I will do that. 
When you walk far, I say, hey, you could come, 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 I remember something. Uh, what do you call the name of the man you're going to kill again? You say, okay, Jengbere, huh? Or is the one that took your wife? Oh, you can't kill him again. You say what? You see that Obi you ate? He gave me. And you know, there's a treaty in the palace of God. God said, if you eat the food of anybody, you cannot kill them. So it's just a lawyer. <laughs> you have eaten his food, you cannot kill him. That's how Kajembe was free. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So, Obi, you know, is powerful. You understand what I'm saying? So we use it, you know, and then say yes or no to your rituals. So, and for beginners, Obi force writes in three in three forms. One is yes. When either all of them open up or all of them <coughs> close down or you have two up to down is a shift for, a, for a, begin, a beginner it is easy but when it's different like you have three down one up we we'll call it a corner that is it. There's a problem somewhere. You start to ask, what's the problem? What can I do? Blah, 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 blah. Or you have one down, three up. That's a taiwa. Hey, is it that you have a concern about me or as a check about my character? You see? But if it's all up, you're happy, I laugh here. I thank God. If it's all down, you have a shagun. Victory, may all the enemies be dead and be gone, and may have my each benefit. And if it's two down, two up, that's a share to my prayers. That's the simplest way to do it. But after it has fallen right, and you want to give to Ifa or Oshun or any of the Orisha, make sure you give one male and one female. How do you know it? Already you can identify. But if they are too up, too down, all you can do is that, first of all, take the one that is down. Anyone that is down, take it up. And take it close to your house to see if it's a male or a female. Oh, this is a, this is a female. Okay. You know you're going to look for a male. It is easy for you to see a male because it's one of the one opening. You can see it physically. But if you take one from the one that is open before, you don't know what and what are here. That's the trick about it. That's why it's better for you to take the one that's close before to know the sex. And then you'll be able to know the one you want to take from the one that is open up. And you give. And when you do that, then the next one that is open, whether male or female, is for you. Ayeto sijudo maraye it is the opportunity that opens to man that man takes. And then the last one you can throw for a shoe. That is Obi, it's as simple as that. There's advanced class on Obi. Where if it's uh, all down, you can still be pressurizing and asking and blah, 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 blah. You can even throw. It loves at the time and throw it. The formation is completely different. That's advanced class. We'll be going there. But if you know this basic, it's so good and so beautiful for us. It's edible. That is that. This is five log. <coughs> One, two, three, four, five. In this five log, I will ask somebody to break it and tell me what is there. Well, you want to do that? Please open it for us and see what's there. Let's see how many, 
how many male, how many female. This is a class where we, where we are all sharing. Female, this is male, this is male, and this is female, Baba. This is like a hybrid. I don't know. Okay! <laughs> he got it! So, which means in the five lobe, you get two male, two female, and one hermaphrodite <laughs> that combine two sexes. So instead of having one line or two lines, it's gonna have three lines. That's the hermaphrodite. That's why I asked him to, to open it for us. <laughs> you see? Oh. You see? So we call it Ofua or Ifa. We don't throw it to any Ifa or Isha. We remove it. I would say that, uh, hey, What's it when called again, Baba? I'm sorry. Yeah? I, I never knew the name of it. What's it called? Ofwa. Ofwa. Or Ifa. Or Ifa. Yeah. You see? Oh, yes. So, so, and then we now, we now take it and say, hey, this is Ifa. We don't uh, put it in the obi we give to Orisha. We remove it. Then you put it in front of Orisha and draw it away like this. We remove it. So, when evil thing is coming, please remove me. Danger. Kidnappers, mm. gun shooting, all negative things. Mm. You remove me, remove my child, remove my, my mother, remove everybody that's close to me, and then you give to a shoe. And then you take care of the rest of them. But there can be a situation where you have a cis law. Who can tell me what's going to be in a cis law? Anybody? What's going to be in a cis lobe? I don't have a cis lobe here now. What's likely to be in a cis lobe? OK. In a cis lobe, you will have two males, two females, and two hermaphrodites. <laughs> yes. But when you have that, that's a trick. A babalao, babalo Yanifa, Yanusha, do not go and take a cis lobe to say they want to give to the Aurisha. Or Yifa. They don't do it deliberately. But by the time you want to take Obi, already you are in front of the Orisha. That's when you open it. And then you say, oh my God, this is six lobe. You just say, this is Ifa. I don't have to throw it. I have to give the whole thing to that Orisha. So any benefit from the house, from outside the house, from the ward, please let them come to me. You put it there. Then you cannot take another one to break fresh. If you don't have another one in the house, you're okay. You're okay. You can have a three lobe. Three lobe, you can give to a shoe anytime. The formation of three lobe is simple. Either two up, one down, is a share. All down is a share. All up is a share. But two down, one up is, is a quorum. It's not, it's, not, it's not taking it. That and it's for a shoe alone. But there may be a situation where you want to give two obit or your ifa or shoe. If you want to give two, you are permitted to give one that is three lobe and one that is four lobe. But you must give the three lobe first before you use the four lobe to take care of it. They say, in Tarawa Juri, Yasi, Mari. What the person in front does not see, the person coming behind him must see it. That is what that three lobe does not do well enough, the four lobe book coming behind will take care of it. That is when you can break a three lobe to Ifa. We have 10 minutes.
So, we... If anybody... Yeah, if anybody... Uh -huh. We can take two questions. So, we are running off as this because uh, this is what I want to do that uh, we have been able to do. And we pray, Lady Murray, to make sure that all we have learned today should be beneficial to us, to our family, to our city, and to the world in general. May our already give us peace Ashes. and uh, progress. Ashes. Take care of your head. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you.